Hi guys, it's Rach. In today's video I'm going to be sharing with you my beauty favourites as well as some random favourites from the past month. This will be my August favourites video. However, it's it's a little bit of a special one. It's, it's something of a difference. You're probably wondering why I'm wearing a party hat and why there are balloons in the background. It's not my birthday. My birthday's in April. This video is actually my 500th video that's going up on my main channel. 500. I feel like this moment deserved a party popper even though these things actually kind of scare me to death because I know that a lot of YouTube milestones that are celebrated generally are subscriber based, reaching 100,000 subscribers, reaching a million subscribers. I'm nowhere near that yet but 500 videos represents a lot of hard work and a lot of time and effort and dedication from you guys as well. I have not the most subscribers in the world but I have good quality subscribers and I just wanted to take a moment at the start of this video to celebrate reaching 500 videos together and thank you to all of you who've been here from the start or whether this is the first time you're watching my videos. I really really appreciate it. So with that being said, let's start off this special edition favourites video with some fragrance favourites because I haven't had a fragrance favourite that is really difficult to say a fragrance favorite in a very long time and now I have two the first one is the Jo Malone Wood Sage and Sea Salt Cologne. I have wanted to buy this for quite a while now. It got a lot of hype on YouTube when it was launched last year and ever since I smelled it I just I was in love. It's really a unique scent, something very different from whatever I have in my collection and that's what I'm into at the moment. I'm trying to declutter and maybe buy a bit less and for me that just means instead of buying 20 of the same thing over and over and over again, I buy 15 of different things. So it, it, it works out in my mind that the shopaholics out there will, will totally get my justification. This one just has this it has this woody, fresh, salty scent to it. I don't know, it reminds me of being at the beach or by the seaside or something like that. I really, really like this one and if you can spend the extra bucks, a Jo Malone colognes are really, really high quality. They have great, unique, different scents. The scent lasts so long on you. Would definitely recommend that one. My more affordable fragrance favorite of the month is actually a new one from The Body Shop. This is the Italian Summer Fig scent. It's part of a whole sort of summer range that they brought out here in winter, but for the rest of the world or the Northern Hemisphere anyway in summer. Again, something completely unique and different to everything else that I have in my collection. And to be perfectly honest, when I first smelt it, I didn't like it. What I would suggest is spray a bit on your skin, meander around the store, maybe do a little bit of shopping and then smell it because it develops in a way that, I don't know, it turns into something that I really, really like. I don't know, if you like Fig Scents, definitely check that one out. I feel like it has a complexity to it that you don't usually find in more inexpensive perfumes. Moving on to some makeup favorites. I don't have a bunch of new makeup this month. I think I was kind of last month I tried so many new things that I was still kind of working my way through them this month. A couple of things that do stand out to me. The first, it flows on from my foundation addiction. To be honest, it's getting ridiculous and I need to stop and even after talking about this, I still have more new foundations that I've recently purchased to try which may pop up in next month's favourites videos, we don't know, but for this month, it's the Gorgeous Cosmetics Base Perfect Liquid Foundation. I was actually wearing this one when I filmed my last month's favourites, my July favourites, and I did a tutorial and a haul showing you um, this product going on, but I really, really like it. It does have quite... A strong scent which doesn't bother me at all but I know a couple of people commented on my video when I showed it saying that they just couldn't use it because of the scent but the actual coverage it gives you is really really good it's not too heavy on the skin it looks nice it's quite smoothing a really really nice offering there from gorgeous cosmetics and they have quite a few shades as well I wear the shade 2c for reference and my other favorite is actually an offering from Revlon these are relatively new it's the photo ready insta fix stick foundations. I have a few different shades, two that I've been reaching for a lot. I've actually grabbed out the wrong ones. I have three shades to be perfectly honest. Here we go. Let's find number three. So I've been using shade 150 natural beige which is darker than my natural skin tone to actually cream sculpt I want to say. I don't want to say cream contour because it's not actually that much of a contrast but it just gives that little bit of extra dimension and definition back to my face without being too over the top and I can just use these on their own and not use any other foundation. Use a little bit of this darker shade. I might grab um, number 120 vanilla and I'll use that in the sort of center of my face and then if I need a color to blend 
those two together I have number 140 nude and nude and 130 shell both kind of suit me so I don't know they just work really well great for keeping in your handbag I use them to touch up concealer or large areas where I might need a bit of extra coverage throughout the day if I'm going from work to an event having this in my bag is just so much more convenient than bringing a whole foundation and, and everything else that goes along with it you can use a brush to blend it in but you can also use your fingers works fine sticking with the drugstore another new favorite of mine is the master sculpt contouring palette I have both shades but the medium dark is the one that I've been reaching for quite a bit what I love about this one is that the contour shade is quite cool toned which is awesome because drugstore contour powders are so so difficult to find if you've ever tried to do like a full face drugstore look you'll understand the struggle is real when it comes to contouring products but really nice powders here you have a contour and a highlight both are quite pigmented they kick up a bit of powder, I mean the quality of the highlights probably not the best in the world, but they definitely do the trick, are easy to use, great if you're a beginner or just if you're looking for a drugstore um, priced contour, I really really I like those ones from Maybelline. They also work great as eyeshadows as well. One more face product, I must be the last person on earth who is trying this product. It is not Champagne Pop, which has popped up in a lot of people's videos. This is actually the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Moonstone. Now, I do want to try Champagne's Pop still, but it's not quite available here in Australia, not easily available here in Australia. However, Moonstone is, and this is a gorgeous, gorgeous highlight. I can see why there is so much hype. It's just creamy, it blends well, it's reflective. I, I really, really think this one is a great one, whether you have quite light skin, even if you have more darker skin, it's, it's going to work for you, and it's just, it's, it's lovely. I'm all about the highlight at the moment, and if you are all about the highlight too, then it's worth checking out. My last few makeup favorites are all lip products, and I have a whole bunch that fall into the category of nude peachy pink lips which is something that I never thought I would say because it's just not me. Most people know that I wear a Rachel color which for me is generally a dark burgundy plummy ready shade. I find that's what suits me best and that's what colors I tend to gravitate towards the most but I have been digging the nude lips since I've kind of worked out how to make it work for me and I find that it's pairing multiple lip products. Having that variation in tone tends to I don't know, make it more wearable for me. So my nude lip liners of the month that I'm kind of pairing with a lot of things. The first one is the Kiana Lip, lip Pencil from Gorgeous Cosmetics. Really, really nice one there, really creamy. I've also been loving and adoring this Too Faced Perfect Lips Lip Liner. This one is in Perfect Nude. Very similar shades, very like me to, to fall in love with similar colors, but just throwing stuff around there. Oh, and again lid's gone. It's, it's never coming back. Um, and then the last one is the NYX Retractable Lip Liner in Natural. This one's a little bit more brown, but again, really, really creamy. Really long wearing formulas, I find, as well. Nice to pair with some of these other lip products that I'm about to talk about. The first one is a lipstick. This is from MAC. It's a matte formula and it is kind of sexy, which I've been on the fence about buying for quite a while now. I decided to pick it up and I was happily surprised at how wearable this shade is and how much I liked it. And it's even though it's a matte formula, it's it's still creamy enough that it's not too uncomfortable. The other one that I've been loving is this YSL Glossy Stain in shade number 7. This one, again, pairs really, really nicely with some of these nude lip liners there. You kind of just buff it in with your finger and it gives you this kind of glossy sheen to your lips without being too over the top and really, really long wearing as well. I love um, these glossy lip stains from YSL. And then the last one I have is another YSL product, but this is the Baby Doll Kiss and Blush. You may have seen me use this in a recent makeup tutorial. I really, really like this color, both on the cheeks but also on the lips. Again, I just use a finger, apply a really small amount, blend it out, and it gives you this gorgeous light pinky nude shade, which is kind of as nude as I get. Concealer lips is just, it's just never going to be my thing. It just doesn't work with my skin tone, but pairing these together, these kind of more brownie nude lip liners with these slightly more pinky lip colors have just been my ultimate lip combo of the moment. I couldn't have the makeup portion of this favorites video without mentioning 
the MAC lipstick in Whirl. I have had a very long love affair with that lip liner and they now have it in lipstick form. It is what I'm wearing on my lips today. It's that ready brown neutral shade that's sort of very in at the moment. The Kylie Jenner lip, whatever you want to call it. It's 90s. I just... I really, really like this one, and I love that it's in a lipstick formula. I mean, the lip liner worked great, and I would use it all over my lips anyway, but having it in a lipstick is so much more convenient, and it's a little bit more comfortable to wear as well. Okay, let's keep this moving. I have a hair favorite. This is the Tresemme Perfectly Undone Ultra Brushable Hairspray. I just needed a new one, decided to give this a shot, and I really, really like it. I tend to go for these more uh, brushable, loose hold hairsprays because I'm using them on hair that's curled or that I'm just leaving out straight, and I want it to still feel like my hair, and that's what this one does. I have it in my hair, and you wouldn't even really know. It still feels soft. It still has a ton of movement to it, but it still has that little bit of extra hold that I need. I just, I really has a really fine mist as well, which I really, really like. And then my skincare favorite of the month is actually from Simple. It is their Kind to Skin Micellar Cleansing Wipes. I love micellar water and I love the Simple Cleansing Wipes, the Kind to Skin um, green ones. I go through them like crazy. If you've watched any of my empties videos, you probably see me throw out at least three packets of those each video. So I was quite excited to be able to try these. They seem to remove my makeup well. The texture of the actual wipe is great. It's not too damp. It's not too dry. It, it does a good job. I can use one wipe, get all my makeup off on my face. It's always my first step. I'll then we'll go in with a normal cleanser. I don't like using wipes just on their own, but a really, really nice offering from Simple. If you're on the cleansing wipes bandwagon, definitely check these ones out. I think you'll enjoy them. Here is one here that I have to demonstrate. <laughs> That's kind of gross. That takes care of my beauty favorites. I have a fashion favorite, which is actually this necklace. I did film a haul recently showing all my new jewelry purchases that I've been loving in jewelry trends. And this one is one of them. It's definitely my favorite of the bunch. It's a necklace from Amber Seats. I got this in David Jones. It's a rose gold. The Bentley necklace is what it's called. It's kind of an open front choker. It has a hinge there. It's something that's very on trend and popular at the moment. I've been seeing these everywhere, but I mean, it combines my love of rose gold with pearls. I love wearing it with my pearl earrings that I'm wearing today. And it just seems to work with, oh, can't forget the party hat, with everything. You'll probably see a lot of it in videos. It's one of the few necklaces that I can wear that you actually see, because usually I have long ones and you don't really see much more of my neck. But really, really loving that one from Amber Seats. My entertainment favorite of the month is Rosie's Recaps. The Bachelor started back up in Australia, and I honestly can't watch this show. It makes me physically cringe. I get embarrassed for other people. I've said this before. I think last time I was talking about um, The Bachelor, but with The Bachelor brings Rosie's recaps, and basically it's where Rosie Waterland, who is a writer for Mamma Mia, recaps everything that happened in the episode in a highly, highly humorous manner. I just, I love the way that she sees the world and the way that she sort of, I guess, takes the piss out of uh, The Bachelor. It's just... It's fantastic. You don't even need to watch the show to read these recaps. I'll have them linked in the description box below. Check them out. I think you'll love them. She's just... I love her. I want her to recap all TV shows. I think she would make everything so much more funny. I have a YouTube video slash YouTuber favorite of the month again, and this month it's going to Karima McKimmy. She writes a blog, Shameless for Breeze, and she's actually one of the Australian YouTubers who I know and would call a friend. She is amazing. Her talent is just it's so up there. Her knowledge of makeup is so up there. I've talked about her channel before, and if by some chance you aren't already subscribed, definitely go check it out. She released a video, I think it was actually late at the end of July, but I kind of probably didn't watch it until after I'd filmed my last month favorites. It was a makeup tutorial called Ultraviolet, I think. I'll have that linked in the description box below as well, but she used color and the way she just, she did it. She made it look so seamless and so beautiful and so much like I could just go out there and wear a ton of eyeshadow, colorful eyeshadows on my face and feel comfortable. Probably could not pull it off the way that she did, but she's just a Fountain of Knowledge, definitely check her out. So I think that pretty much leaves book and song favorites. My book favorites of the month, there were quite a few new releases from authors that I really enjoy reading. Until Friday Night by Abby Glines is one that I'm actually currently reading. I haven't quite finished it yet, but I'm still gonna make it a favorite because she is just one of these authors where I just, I buy everything that she writes. 
she announced the novel, I pre-order it because I like her. I love her stuff. She's a great sort of new adult romance author. I think you'll enjoy her. Fallen Crest University by Tijon. This this is a series that I've talked about before, the Fallen Crest series. I really enjoy it. I've just I'm so invested in these characters and I love that each of the characters sort of continue on in each of the books. This is book number five, I believe, and there's gonna be more. Can't wait for that. Really enjoyed that one. Kick Push by Jay McLean. I love Jay. Again, I'll read anything that she writes. And this one was just, it's tugs at your heartstrings and it's emotional but it also has the romance element to it and it has like the growing up element to it and there's like a, a baby involved. I just, it's great. Check out Jay McLean. And the last one is Overtime by Tony Leo. I've been reading the Nashville Assassins series for quite a while now and this was just another book in the series. It's based around a hockey team. I've said this before as well but I, I love reading um, like romance novels that are around like a sporting team because I feel like it just gives you another layer. I really enjoy those ones. And last but not least, songs that I've recently added to my music playlist. I have a few here. The first one is Poison by Rita Ora. I really like that one. Powerful by um, Major Lazer featuring Ellie Goulding. Love that song. Do It Again by Pia Mia featuring Chris Brown. Not Letting Go by Tiny Temper featuring Jess Glynn, I think is her name. Can't Feel My Face by The Weeknd. Um, Golden by Travi McCoy featuring Sia. Fire in the Flood by Vance Joy. And I've also been liking King and Eyes Shut by Years and Years. So there are all the new songs on my playlist and that brings us to the end of my August favourites video. I hope you guys have enjoyed hearing about all the things that I've been loving. I would now love it if you would share with me all the things that you've been loving. Even if it's just one thing, whatever it is, share it with me in the comments below so I have some new things to check out or just so I can feel like we're having a two-way conversation. I'll have all the products and things that I talked about listed and linked and whatever else I can do in the description box below and all my social media links will be there like always. Come say hi to me if you can. Can. And if you are brand new, welcome to the party and subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos. Thank you again for being able to celebrate 500 videos with me and here's to, I guess, 500 more. Who knows what will happen? I hope you guys are all doing really, really well and I'll talk to you all next time. Bye. Should I do another pop-up? I'm kind of scared. <laughs> oh, I used to love this stuff as a kid. So much fun. You used to get, I used to love when they didn't unroll and then you got to unroll them. Is that just me? Anybody else? I don't know. I'm gonna go clean up my room now. I'm gonna have to throw a party. <laughs>